Okay, hello. I am back for a for a tutorial on how to make a basic age verification a um, JavaScript program for your uh, website. So if you have some explicit content on your website, you can set an age verifier to see if people are old enough to view your content. So this is how you do it. So as you can see, mine is right here, hverify.html, but I'll open up my sublime text. Okay, so this is all it is. Um, very simple if you understand JavaScript. So you know there's the HTML tag telling it that there's HTML, or that this document is to HTML. There's the, your header where you can put all your scripts in. Here is your title, <laughs> check age and then here's the script type text JavaScript okay now I'll go through and explain this as best I can <clears throat> if you I mean I understand it I'll see if you do so it's pretty simple um, what you have here is first what's gonna pop up is a variable age check equals so you're creating this is just a created variable named age check so you can name it whatever you want now you can see all the instances of age check popping up you can see where I called them in my if else if else statements so and if you notice I'm not using a function for this I'm just letting it run when the page loads that's all I'm doing um, if you were to put this into a function you'd have to use a button to call on it for it to activate with the way I'm doing it right here how I have it in my header loading it up now how I have the window prompts outside of you know no function or any statement or any function or any uh, method that you can call on it will automatically run on the page load so that's all as it this is so actually what I'm gonna do before I go through and explain more of this is I'm gonna change this around there we go I want that to pop up first you can do it however you want so I'm gonna save it okay now so here it is so I already explained that it's text JavaScript that's all the script type means variable name okay so the variable name equals a window prompt so when I create the variable all the variable is is a window prompt that asks the user please enter your name okay that's all that is and what the window prompt will do once they enter that once they enter their name it will hold that okay it will hold that it will hold it in its memory that data okay it will hold that data that variable data in 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 the computer's memory and then you can call on it later so you can say this is the same if you ever worked with python or anything any other language it's the same thing if you create a variable or or a or an integer and you ask the user to enter an integer okay um then the computer will hold that integer for them so that they can call on it later it's very basic so it's the same with the please enter your age the same thing there and then um and then it goes into the if statement so if age check is less than 18 now you can change this to whatever age you want I did 18 you can do like 13 I mean if it's like uh, PG 13 content then do 13 change it however you want it doesn't really matter um then it will go into a uh, if statement so I have my brackets here my opening and closing brackets and then it goes into a window alert now window alerts are what you see if uh, you'll you'll see these a lot. Um, most people already know what they look like. You'll see what it looks like in a second, though. So uh, I'll just explain the rest now. So it's just gonna open if age check. So age check the variable age check. Okay. If what they enter is less than 18. All right. If the integer is less than 18, then it will print this out. Okay. Window dot alert. You have submitted that you are age check so the the um the data the variable data that is saved 
you are now calling on it okay see I'm calling on the variable right now and all that is is the number that they entered so you are you submitted that you are whatever whatever age they enter or number they entered so it would be like 23 if they entered 23 plus now these little spaces here are so that they're not all the text isn't all compacted together it puts a space that's why I put the space there and then I have a colon here you are and I'll actually switch this colon around okay you are hmm, years old then I'll put a little comma or I could even put another colon make it sort of boxed in I can kinda do it like that there okay so now years old and then comma name so it will say whatever their name whatever name they entered okay whatever name they entered will show up here if I entered Billy Billy will show up so it'll say you submitted that you are 23 years old Billy and then period okay and then it will sh pop up another one you must be at least 18 years old to visit the site so it's saying you aren't you aren't old enough then you can you can even add in a location href and then do whatever you want so you could do like http forward slash slash <coughs> excuse me forward slash slash um, facebook.com you can really do whatever site you want there you can send them to a different site is what I'm trying to say so I'll just save that okay now an else if so if you don't know what an if or else if or else statement are it's pretty much as simple as this it's if so if this is true then execute this okay that's all that is if this is true then execute this block of code all right else if so else if this is true okay if the code in here is true execute this code if it if neither of them are true then it will default to the else okay now I'll, I'll get around to telling you why I only have one little window alert in there okay so now <coughs> so now we move on to the else if statement which is very simple if you have ever worked with Java you will already know what this is so an else if so if this isn't true then it will check if this is true it says okay this isn't true so let's check if this is true okay so if it's more than 18 it will default to this okay now all this is saying this little block of code here may look confusing to you but it's very basic it's very simple to understand so else if so it's the same as saying another if statement it's just more beneficial to use an else if statement that's what these are for so it's just like making an if statement okay so now if this is true then execute this so essentially what this little block of code is saying is a if if the age they entered is greater than 18 but less than 101 then execute this code now see this double little ampersands here okay this is an an an, an and this means and all right this means javascript in javascript language this means and so it means that both of these have to be true in order for this to execute now I could enter I could do that now only one side has to be true for it to print out true for this to print out true and if only one side was true then it would print it out okay but I want both sides to be true because of both sides if one side is true I'll get it will it will cause a lot of issues and if uh, if you have questions on what issues it will cause, leave them in the comment section below and I can tell you exactly, I can explain in detail what what issues would um, uh, come from that. So then all it says is, you are old enough to visit this site, welcome, 
your name so welcome Billy exclamation point that's all that that's all that is and then else so now if neither of these are true and if you read through the the ruling in here in the if and else if the only other option the only other um, um, uh, result that you could have if this is false and this is false is that they're older than 101 years old or they entered there older than 101 years old which I entered as you must you must be honest about your age and then I say their name because um, I really doubt a 102 year old person is visiting my site and it's just, it just seems silly you could do even 120 years old you know because I know a lot of people like to enter random little uh, you know dumb ages but they'll be surprised when they see this so then you could do the same here and then do HTTP slash slash www.facebook facebook com just like that save semicolon because you're changing what happens and there you go so it's simple as that now all you have to do save it you can close it open it up in your web browser here it is right here okay please enter your name all right uh, let's do Billy my name is Billy please enter your age uh, let's do 23 okay you are old enough to visit this site welcome Billy now I'm gonna reload this Billy please enter your age 12 you submitted that you are 12 years old Billy you must be at least 18 years old to visit this site there you go now I'll do it again please enter your name Billy I am 121 years old you must be honest about your age Billy and there you go a fully functioning age verification system for your website hope this helps and if it does please leave a like and a, uh, a, le a like a subscribe a subscription I'm sorry please leave a like a, sub a sub ah, I can't talk I'm sorry please leave a like a subscription and a cheerful comment in the comment section below uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day